Most of us know the General Motors Company, or GM, is an iconic American automotive company that has played a huge role in shaping the global automobile industry. But did you know that its history is marked by numerous ups and downs, including a time when the company had to file for bankruptcy? Yes, this company that was founded at the dawn of the 20th century has a story worth telling. From its founding as a small company to its rise as a global giant, its near collapse, and its inspiring recovery. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it. General Motors traces its origins to September 16, 1908, when a group of entrepreneurs, led by a man named Willem C. Durand, established the company. Durand's vision was to consolidate several smaller automobile manufacturers into a single entity. He wanted to create a powerhouse that could rival Ford, which was dominating the industry with its Model T at the time. So, General Motors quickly acquired established car manufacturers, including Buick, Oldsmobile, Cadillac, and Oakland, which later became Pontiac. This strategic move allowed the company to offer a wide range of automobiles that could cater to different market segments. By 1910, General Motors became the leading automaker in the United States and continued to grow even more from there. One of General Motors' growth strategies was to reorganize the company into different divisions, each with its own brand identity and focus. Chevrolet, introduced in 1911, emerged as General Motors' flagship division, and it played a pivotal role in making automobiles affordable to the masses. An iconic example of Chevrolet's contribution to the automobile world is the Chevrolet Suburban, which was first introduced in the 1930s and remains one of the longest-running models in history. Buick, on the other hand, became synonymous with premium offerings. It occupied a unique position in General Motors' lineup and catered to a more upscale market. In a way, Buick bridged the gap between Chevrolet and Cadillac. Now, coming to Cadillac, this brand always represented luxury and innovation. Cadillac was responsible for groundbreaking achievements, like pioneering the electric self-starter in 1912 and introducing the first mass-produced V8 engine in 1914. Pontiac carved out another niche by focusing on performance-oriented vehicles. Models like the GTO became super popular during the muscle car era and appealed to speed enthusiasts around the world. Another important division that contributed to General Motors' success in the industrial sector was GMC, or General Motors Truck Company, which specialized in trucks and commercial vehicles. Whether it was utility vehicles or heavy-duty trucks, GMC became the go-to brand for commercial and work-related transportation. Looking back, you can tell that each of these divisions was finely tuned to cater to different customer preferences and demographics, allowing General Motors to maintain a diverse and inclusive presence in the automobile industry. At this point, we should also note that General Motors' growth was not limited to the United States. The company expanded its operations worldwide, establishing manufacturing plants, subsidiaries, and distribution networks all across the globe. In fact, during the 1930s, General Motors' overseas subsidiaries included Opel in Germany, Vauxhall in the United Kingdom, and Holden in Australia. These entities allowed General Motors to become the world's largest auto conglomerate. Yet, as the industry landscape evolved, so did the challenges and competitors General Motors faced. Its most prominent competitor was the Ford Motor Company, led by Henry Ford, who, as many of you might remember, revolutionized production with the assembly line. Throughout the mid-20th century, General Motors and Ford, being the biggest players in the American car industry, continuously battled for market share and innovation. This competition led to great advancements in automobile technology and design, eventually benefiting customers and moving the industry forward. However, General Motors' challenges extended beyond Ford. Japanese companies like Toyota also emerged as strong competitors in the latter half of the 20th century. Toyota was setting new standards for quality, efficiency, and reliability. And General Motors, at times, struggled to keep up with these industry shifts. Moving on to the 2000s, a time that brought a series of crises for General Motors, including a near collapse during the global financial crisis of 2008. At that time, General Motors faced a severe financial crunch due to declining sales, high labor costs, and the sluggish economy. 
In 2009, the company sought government assistance, leading to a historic federal bailout. The U.S. government provided approximately $49.5 billion in bailout funds to keep General Motors afloat. In return, the government took a significant ownership stake in the company. However, despite the bailout, General Motors was unable to avoid bankruptcy. In June 2009, the company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. This marked the lowest point in General Motors' history, and it was a sad reminder of the challenges faced by even the largest and most established corporations during the 2008 crisis. The company emerged from bankruptcy a month later in July 2009 and worked towards a phenomenal journey of recovery and reinvention. General Motors focused on redefining its brand and product lineup, letting go of unprofitable brands like Pontiac, Saturn, and Hummer. During this period, General Motors also accelerated its efforts to develop electric and hybrid vehicles. The Chevrolet Vault, which was introduced in 2010, was an eminent achievement in this regard. Another big milestone in General Motors' recovery was its return to the stock market with its initial public offering in November 2010. It was one of the largest IPOs in U.S. history. But not everything was rosy for the company. In the years following its recovery, General Motors faced controversies that tarnished its image. The most notable one was the ignition switch recall in 2014. This scandal involved faulty ignition switches that could cause the engine to shut off while driving, compromising crucial safety systems such as airbags. Unfortunately, this defect was also linked to multiple fatal accidents. General Motors worked to rectify these issues and improve its safety and quality control systems. But the recall scandal left a lasting impact on the company's image. One more noteworthy issue that emerged was the criticism surrounding General Motors' environmental practices. As environmental awareness grew, General Motors faced scrutiny for the fuel efficiency of some of its vehicles and its role contributing to climate change. To address this, the company began to invest more heavily in research and development for electric vehicles and took steps to reduce its carbon footprint. General Motors also faced labor disputes and strikes, particularly in 2019, when the United Auto Workers Union went on strike. This impacted production and caused financial strain on the company. These controversies and challenges reinforced the need for General Motors to remain adaptive and responsive to a rapidly changing business environment. As of today, the company continues to navigate a rapidly changing landscape. It is actively pushing forward with electric vehicle development, aligning with the industry's overall transition to sustainable transportation. General Motors' flagship electric model, the Chevrolet Bolt, was received with critical acclaim. It offered an affordable and practical electric car with a competitive range. The company has also announced its commitment to a fully electric future. It has pledged to stop manufacturing internal combustion engine vehicles by 2035 and become completely carbon neutral by 2040. Apart from electric vehicles, General Motors has invested in self-driving technology through its cruise automation subsidiary. The company has also partnered with Honda to develop electric and autonomous vehicles. By the looks of it, General Motors aims to play a major role in the autonomous vehicle revolution. As the automobile industry continues to evolve, with a growing focus on sustainability and self-driving vehicles, General Motors remains committed to staying at the forefront of these developments. While the road ahead may be challenging, the company has weathered numerous storms in the past and will likely continue to do so even in the years to come. What are your thoughts on the company? Also, which division of General Motors has impressed you the most with its offerings? Comment below and tell us. We love hearing from you. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content on some of your favorite companies. And hit that bell icon so that you're notified every time we drop a fresh video. See you next time!